Greetings folks, Pilot Pete here, back from CES 2024, where Dave and I went out to find some cool stuff. Let me tell you a quick story about why this is cool. I got back from my last long international trip, and I slept great the first night. Well, that was it. The next two weeks, I don't think I got more than four or four and a half hours of sleep at any given stretch, and boy was I frustrated. I was popping melatonin like they were candies, and nothing was working. So I was intrigued when we ran across this booth at CES, Coza Sleep. Their website, cozasleep.com, is due to be up on the 16th of January, I'm told. But their product is now available on Amazon. And here's what it is. It's a little 3.8-ounce bottle of a sleep formula that they've developed. Now, 3.8 ounces is important because it means you can travel with it. That being said, I don't think I'm going to travel with this because the price point is such that it's almost $6 a bottle. So $6 for a night of good sleep. You know what? By the end of that two weeks, I'd have been willing to pay 6 bucks a night for the rest of my life. But here's the thing. I, I don't think that you actually need to pay every night. Dave and I tr both tried this, and I'll tell you this. It seemed to work. We were not sleeping the best that we could at CES because we were three hours off of our normal time zone. We both tried it, and it seemed to work fairly well. So you get a six ounce, or I'm sorry, a six bottle pack when you uh, buy it. It's $35. They claim to be a postbiotic sleep drink and use 72 hours of fermentation to create the faster absorption and absorption and a healthy gut. And the faster, deeper sleep, uh, here's the cool thing, no melatonin in this. And some people do not like melatonin. I get it. I happen to be able to do okay with it, but I understand it doesn't work well for a lot of people. But here are some of the ingredients that are in it. Jujube seed extract, L-theanine, some L-tryptophan, ever had turkey, right? Vitamin B6, vitamin B12, magnesium, some hops, no alcohol, unfortunately. Well, fortunately, and some glycine. Here's the thing. It's part of a recipe that they've put together that has uh, superfood items in it, and it seems to promote restful sleep. Non-habit forming, that's huge. Promotes relaxation, many of the ingredients in green tea and that sort of thing. And there's an ingredient list right there. No sugars, five grams of carbohydrates. And here's my take on it. Again, both Dave and I tried it. We were super happy with the restful sleep that we got after taking it. The other downside of this, I would say, is that I don't think it's the best taste. Now, they do say if you want to improve the taste, then shake it up, pour it over ice, and put some cranberry juice in there. That may actually help. I wasn't super thrilled with the consistency or the flavor, but I'll tell you what, I was willing to forego that for the type of sleep that I got with it. I was really impressed with it. Will I take it every night? Not at almost $6 a bottle, I'm sorry. But I can tell you that the four bottles of samples that I have left, they're going to be sitting right on in my nightstand so that I can get to them and use them to help gain my sleep cycle back when I come back from long international trips. So in that sense, I'm looking forward to trying this again. May I ask you, please, if you have a need for the products from any of our sponsors for CES, Carbon Copy Backup, Mac Updater, or Collide, that you visit them and let them know that the Mac Geek Gab sent you to them. We appreciate their support and helping us bring all this cool stuff found to you. One last piece of advice before I go. Don't get caught.